the next day. We're going to go ahead and continue work on that chicken coop that we're doing. Today, what we'd like to get done is get the rafters up there, the OSB for the roof, and then we're going to put some plastic over it because it's probably going to rain for a little while. We do want to start getting it dried in. Our stretch goal for the day, T111 around the sides. That's our goal today. Let's see if we can make it happen. It's early enough this morning that I think we can do this. Much nicer working down closer to the ground on this. There we go. I need to go get the equipment, huh? The uh Compressor, in, yeah. generator, yeah. nailer. Okay. Yeah. There we go. We got a nice pergola right now. Pretty impressive. Ugh. Again. <laughs> Twelve more times. You're doing great. So we'll need. I was four rows of 14 and that make it. Well, how many do we have on the bottom? Yeah, okay. Guess who gets to go up and nail them? Me. That's always my job. You gotta do the insulation this time though. You can fit in one of those Tyvek suits too. So uh, that's, I would take advantage of that myself. Spot on. It actually works. I know. I'm telling you, it looks really good. So I think it's just this two by six. It, I think it got offset. I think it should be lined up here. There's no way we can undo this, right, and line it up, honey. Or is there a way we can do that? Maybe we can. Is it just that one? Yeah. Yeah, and I could see it. I mean, it's visually yeah. like going out. Well, I mean, there's only thing that's holding it in there is four toenails. Yeah. You can take it out and shift it over a little bit, but then the thing is, it's not 16 from that. It's not what? It's not, then it's not 16 inches off center from that. Which I guess doesn't really matter. Yeah, this one doesn't matter. Because as matter. long as we can we land just got to make sure one, that one. Yeah, as long as we land on this one, that one can be wherever, as long as we nail into it. Yeah. It's just made this way so that we know we can go bam, 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 yeah. and there's a stud there, or a, a rafter. I will be able to. I was holding out too. 
You're holding out? I was holding it out. No. I was holding out. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Pull it up. Looks like there's more of a gap. Oh, there's no gap here. Okay. I'm gonna hand them up to you. Okay. I mean, you'll probably have to pull at some point. We'll see here in a second. It's a uh, kind of bowed too. I'm Christian Bailing right now. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> American Psycho. Nice. Or what was that? I need a little uh, Dex or Dexter. I need a little uh, Genesis right now. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what's playing? He's like getting some. I don't remember. Dang, I think we need 3,200 too for the uh, hoop house. For the hoop house? That? For what? The cost of the hoop house is going to be about 3200 Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Two days down. Three inches of rain. Non-stop yeah. rain. Um, but we got this roofed in, which is awesome. And got all the wall. Uh, no, I don't even want to say we have all the walls up. We don't have the walls up. We got the roof sheathing in the, in the frame up. Yeah, roof sheathing and framing. I was hoping for the walls. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so thanks for slogging through the mud and the rain with us. Yeah. Another Our next video, well, let's see here. The next one, the next part should be us trying to get this all sided and kind of tightened up. Not so wobbly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That sounds amazing. I want to get those chickens out here.